guys! In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all about the new Offset Pattern Outline feature in Marvelous Designer 6. Now let me just show you quickly the Offset as Internal Line feature, which we've had already since Marvelous Designer 5.5, as there's some similarities between the two. So if I say Offset as Internal Line, after I, I clicked on my pattern piece, and I type in here, let's say 50, you can see that an internal line is being generated um, parallel to the outer line. So say OK, you can see here's an internal line. You can move it around, you can do things to it, sew onto it, turn it into a hole, etc. OK, so let's get rid of that. And now let's see what the offset pattern outline feature does. I'll click that and I'll type in 50 as well so we can see the difference. And what this does, instead of making an internal line inside, it grows the pattern outline by the amount that you type in. And you can also control the number of offsets, make more of them. And this is very interesting if you want to create all kinds of interesting patterns, designs, things in clothes or in bags or in pillows. And we'll get to that a bit more in a moment. So let's just do one offset. And we have different options here. We have right we have default corner, which makes it exactly parallel to your design. You can see the curves, the pointed tips, all of them are the same like my shape, just 50 millimeters offset it. And then there's the right angle corner, which if you noticed, it kind of breaks this sharp tip, makes it sort of shorter. Now the unfilled corner does not work for rounded edges. So if you if I select that, you can see it's not working. It's red and it's not working. Let's just say default corner and say OK. Now the unfilled corner works on square things or even on ones that are not square but have pointed edges, no round edges. So let's select this pattern, offset pattern outline, and select the unfilled corner. Now let's make it a bit more bigger so we can see it better, even 200. And what you can see, instead of default corner, which follows the outline. This one breaks it at the points. So this is very useful if you're making bags or you want to make a box of some sort or maybe even some kind of a square pillow or something like that for some bed covers. Yeah, bed covers probably would be good, useful. But especially bags or boxes. As you can then fold it over and sew like this edge of that one. If you remember in school, if you ever made paper boxes, folding papers and sewing edges, I mean, gluing edges together, it was pretty similar. These parts would be f folded upwards and sewn together. So let me just, uh, let's say default corner, okay, and delete this one, and get back to this one here. So as you can see, after we offsetted the uh, pattern, it grew before it was here, and now it's 50 millimeters more, and it left a tracing line behind. Now, if you want to get rid of these tracing lines or create a pattern from them, you'll need to use a trace tool. And the only thing you can do with these tracing lines, you can't sew onto them, you can't make holes from them like you can from internal shapes. The only thing you can do with them is create a pattern from them or delete them. So if they're bothering you and you don't want them, you can use your tracing tool, hold down shift and click on them. Oops. And then hit delete and they're going to, to be deleted. Let's just undo that and create a pattern from them instead of deleting them. So I'm holding down shift and then right click trace as pattern. And click out and there we've got a pattern. Now it has a different color because I have a different fabric and that was the last one I applied before to some other fabric piece. Now if we wanted to sew this on to this line, internal line here, we'd have to create an internal shape from this. So we'd have to oops, hold down shift again, go around here, right click, trace as internal shape. And then we've created an internal shape from the tracing line. And now if we wanted to create it, turn it into a hole, we could say right click, convert to hole. And there you see we've left, we're left with the frame. Or if we undo that, we could say clone as pattern. Same thing like traces pattern, and there we've got another one. Or if we wanted to sew this onto here, we can take our free sewing tool, double click, double click the matching corner, and let's just superimpose over. And I also freeze this underlying pattern so it doesn't flop in simulation, and then simulate. 
and then we've got that purple one sewn on top. Now, if you don't want to go to all the hassle of having to trace and, and trace this pattern and trace this internal shape and stuff like that, well, by the way, you could also create this as an internal shape without tracing the tracing line as an internal shape by clone this internal shape and then pasting it on top and hope it aligns, nudge it, you know, and get it into place. Or instead, let's just um, bring this back to the state it was before we offset it. There we go. Now when we offset it, uh, offset the pattern outline, I mean, let's type in 50 again. If we click the create internal line button here, then this tracing line is going to become, there's going to be an internal line over the tracing line. So we say, okay, you can see we saved ourselves the step of having to use the tracing tool to create an internal line. And here's our internal line. And we can do all the same things with it. Convert to whole, clone this pattern, etc. So let's see what else we can do with the offset pattern outline feature. I'm just going to quickly sew this onto here. And then I'm going to use my transform tool, select this and say offset pattern outline again. Let's make it again 50. You can make it a different size if you want. And now let's make a few more number of offsets. There we go. And yeah, when you do sometimes numerous offsets, if you choose right angle corner, sometimes it works better depending on your curves and points than if you choose default corner. In this case, it works fine, but if this point was more inwards, not this direction, but more like this, and then we'd have all these clones coming off it, it would be penetrating with this one. Let me just show you. Offset pattern outline, let's make it 50. And there you can see it's almost penetrating. And if I do one more, two more, you know, it's not happy at all. It goes right into the other one. So in that case, right angle corner is a better choice. It's not going to poke into the other one and make troubles. And you can even, nah, three would be too much. You can even go up to two, another one, it would start penetrating. So one last thing I wanted to show you, let's say offset pattern outline. Remember to create internal line if you you want to have an internal line, which I do. And then I'm going to say 50 millimeters and I'll create a bunch of copies. That should be enough. Okay. And there we've got all these internal lines. Now what I want to do, first of all, create a hole from this one. And then I want to create a um, different color strip. So each one should be its own color. So for that, I'm going to copy this one, clone as pattern, click out here. And now I want to make an internal line right here along the inside at the same distance, it's the same width like this strip here. I could copy this internal line and hope to place it at the right angle, not too high, not too low. Or easier, I can right click, offset as internal line, and if I remember how many millimeters I grew the, the border here, the outline, then I can type in the same number here and have the same width like I've got here. Okay, and then I can take turn this into a hole and then I'm going to take my free sewing tool double click on this corner and then double click on the matching one here and also sew the inside so and apply different fabric right click superimpose over and there we've got now this color strip now we can do the same thing again with this one here, clone as pattern. And then we can do the same thing again. Offset as internal line, 50. Keep on doing that until you have all kinds of different strips of color. And you can, of course, make even more interesting designs by, let's say, adding some more segment points and making whatever kind of design you want on the out outer one. And then you can offset that one, a different distance, create an internal line. And then you've got another border with a different design around that which you can 
apply a different kind of um, pattern color over it. Copy that as a clones pattern and then do the same thing that we did with these. And we can go ahead and take our internal line tool if we wanted to, make all kinds of holes and different shapes and designs. Now you can also do all kinds of other things such as create other things that you want to sew onto these internal lines because they're internal lines and you can sew anything you want onto them. So let me show you an example of folding angle. So here we've got a pillow example and actually with a pillow I would rather do offset as internal line than offset pattern outline just because that's going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. If I just wanted to create some interesting folding effects or elastic effects I'd just do offset as internal line. Let's make it 50. 40. And there we've got some interesting designs. And you can see the folding angle does some interesting stuff to it. If we take the other ones and turn them the other way. got some kind of an interesting design going on here and of course we could also take all of these and clone as pattern then again do the same thing like before offset as internal line what was it 40 I think okay convert to whole then wait a second which one was this that was the outer one free sew this onto here and this onto here and make all kinds of designs Another option is just to overlay a texture, which would be much faster. But if you wanted to create maybe inflated designs, then you could do it like this. Let's say superimpose over. If we want to inflate it, we'd need it to be a bit bigger. Maybe something like that. And to simulate. And then we can put some pressure into this. Now what that's going to create is like a, a puffy ring that sort of stands out, especially if we give it a bit more size. And maybe a bit more air. There you go, some kind of interesting pillow effect. And that's just ideas, of course. I'm sure you'll be much more creative and make much nicer pillows than this. So basically that's um, the new... Where is it? pattern offset pattern outline feature and if you have any other ideas how to use it in creative ways please do share it in the comments i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one if you want to learn how to create all kinds of beautiful dynamic 3d clothing check out my mastering marvelous designer online training program